We've got a great Cinco de Mayo game for you. Indians baseball as Cleveland goes up against the Oakland Athletics. Moments away on 2K Sports. Here in Oakland at the Coliseum, the crowd coming in to cheer on the A's. Cliff Lee, over and over again, he has baffled hitters. Will he be able to do it today? Thank you for joining us, Major League Baseball, presented by 2K Sports, Thursday afternoon game. Oakland starter for our ball game. Steve, as he faces these Cleveland hitters, primary emphasis is what? Now his right-hander brings outstanding stuff to the mound every time he takes the ball against a lineup that can be somewhat of a challenge at times for pitchers, but if he's on top of his game, he should be able to shut them down. This is how the Indians are lining up. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, Manny Ramirez is one of the best right-handed hitters I have ever seen play the game of baseball as far as producing runs. But now at the twilight of career, it, it's not as consistent as it used to be. But for one game, Manny can do special things. Look for some special things today. Number seven man at the plate. Last night, a loss for the Indians. This is the uh, last matchup of the three-game set. They've dropped the first two against Oakland. First pitch inside, ball one. That last one, the offense really uh, not getting it done. Nah, just one run scored, and that's not going to get it done. These bats have to come alive in this game. Now the 1 0 pitch. Swung out and missed, and it's 1 1. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. One one pitch hit in the air to center field. That one's caught. Here's a look at the A's on defense. And now I've got a moment to see how the Indians are doing rank wise in the American League. Seventh at batting average with runners in scoring position. Ninth in home runs, and obviously speed not a real part of their offense over the last month. They just, just do not seem to have that instinct on the bases right now or utilizing that speed. They're looking more for power number. They'll get things started here in the home half of the first. First pitch on the way. That's a ball, Lee misses. Well, the A's have to wish maybe they could move to the AL Central. Nine times in the last decade, they've had a 500 record or above against this Central Division. The 1-0 pitch. That's outside, ball two. 23 wins against the Central for this ball club. The A's last year is pretty good. Pretty good. The one team they struggled against, though, the team that won the division, the Minnesota Twins. Pretty good lineup there in Minnesota. They make plays defensively, too. Strike. And he comes back with a cutter for a called strike. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Strike cutter two. called strike two. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Two two on the way. Ball. Gave him a fastball that time, but it's outside. Three and two. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. 3-2 on the way. Full count. Lost him. Ball four. Ball Potential four. tying run is on. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's, it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. Now, let's take a look at what Bob Guerin's done with the lineup. That's a prodigious lineup right here. Names that everybody recognizes. A lot of threats in this lineup and no breaks for the opposing pitcher.
Two outs and a runner on second. Oh, wow. That runs high, 1-0. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Ready with a 1-0. Oh. Fastball low to an 0. Pitch on the way. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3 and 0. After another ball right there, the batter's at the full advantage. 3 and 0 count. I'm turning him loose right here. Fastball. He's taking all the way. 3 and 1. Uh, tough start in this game and, and obviously really laboring in this inning. Up over 20 pitches and just can't seem to throw strikes. He's ready for 3 1. And that one's going to be out of the strike zone, so Chop got one up as a free pass. Now, first base open. This is probably the result of patience at the plate and reluctance on the mound. Six. Slide up at the plate again. Now, Gary, we just saw the second walk in this inning, and you really have to start to question is he nibbling, trying to avoid contact, or is he losing control? Got one of the best averages in the American League. Strike Big one. swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Strike and two. that's a strike, Ramirez. Going to have to guard that plate. Well, oh, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone, down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Swing and lined up the middle. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. And he's in there. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. How's the year gone for Manny? Now let's take a look at where he stands in the rankings. Third in batting average. Third. Struck out swinging his last time up. No one out and a runner on first. First pitch to him. And Lee throws one outside for a ball. Again, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Oh. This one's grounded foul wide at first. He's running towards second. Strike two. And he is safe, just beating that throw. The one two on its way. That's ball well, that's well off the plate, doing two. At the belt, here's the two two pitch. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first out.
And you've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. McGuire at the plate. When well, you talk about big game pitchers, Cliff Lee has established himself as one of the best in postseason history. Although the World Series didn't go the way he wanted, in the ALDS and the ALCS, he was lights out for the Texas Rangers. Certainly confirming what John says about Cliff Lee's desirability on a team. After that World Series, a lot of clubs were inquiring about his availability. Uh, hey, listen, despite taking two losses in the World Series, it did not impact his Ball value one. at all. Signing that big free agent contract in the offseason, everybody knows he's a quality pitcher. one -oh on the way. Great and that's waved out and missed. One and one. One one on the way. Strike one two. one pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike. One and two. You're he out. got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. No runs. One hit and no one left on base. And we'll see the Indians next. Dolby at the plate now. He homered earlier in the ball game. Trying again here, just one for three thus far. Well, trailing in this one, but not because of his at-bats, Gary. I mean, drove in a run with a base hit, and then the home run as well. So, he's had two quality at-bats and very productive. Strike one! On the way. Circle change there. Misses. One and one. Well, he's up over 120 pitches in the game, and I know this guy's a real workhorse. He's going to give you everything he's got. You just wonder what's left in the tank. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Here's a slider that bounces to the plate. Ball. And that's high and away for a ball. Three and two now. Well, a cut fastball up and away can be dangerous because that pitch can run over the plate. Fortunately, the hitter laid off it and didn't get hurt. And he takes that one and misses for ball four. Ball four. Well, good eye by the hitter. He was waiting on the fastball on the 3-2 count. That's what he was looking for. It was out of the zone. Take your base. And with a moment here, State Farm brings you a look at the teams who are hitting the long ball. Number one, the Yankees. Second, the Rays. Third spot, the Red Sox. Rangers, four. And fifth best, the A's. They've been able to drive the ball in situations so far this year. When they get their count, they seem not to miss it as they're among the leaders in home runs this season. 
And here's the first one. Cutter just misses. 1-0. He'll go with a cut fastball on the inside corner here. He tries to bust him in on the hands, but the ball runs back, just misses the corner. And here's Lee's 1-0 pitch. 1-0 pitch, cutter that travels outside, 2-0. Fastball can't catch the corner. He's behind 3-0. and Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Here's the pitch. Swing and a fly ball, and this might be it. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. Well, a lot of things fell into place today for Cleveland. It allows them to... Play to victory, and now a chance to move forward. All right, here we go. It's that time. Uh, we're going to take a look now at our player of the game. And what a game we saw today from Cliff Lee. Well, yeah, I agree. Complete games seem to be a dying art, but every now and again, someone tosses a gem like this one. What I like is that even though he wasn't perfect, his manager gave him the chance and showed enough confidence in him that he could get the job done and finish it off, and he did. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon.